Tonight, it's a clash of the struggling Titans as the Kansas City Royals face off against the Washington Nationals. Both teams are fighting to climb out of the basement in Major League Baseball. Will we see some out-of-the-park action or will it be a battle of the fumbles? Stay tuned to witness the unpredictable showdown between these two underdog teams. It's anyone's game tonight. Hello, sports fans and baseball fans, and particularly fans of out-of-the-park baseball. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with the next game in my Royals season. We will take a look at the league overall. So let's go to the standings, Major League Baseball standings. As you can see, we are at the bottom of the AL Central Division and the bottom of the league, as it turns out. We're 34 and 64. And uh, you can see we're 30th in runs. We are 27th in ERA. 29th in average, 28th in home runs, and we're 28th in defensive efficiency. So we're having a really bad, bad season. Uh, today, though, we are playing the Washington Nationals, who are only a game or two better than us. They're 36 and 63 on the year. Um, they're like a game and a half better. So at least we're playing somebody we have a chance against, I would say. Um, at 34 and 64, not very good. So, uh, with all of that said, and again, I, reminders, uh, this is Out of the Park Baseball. Out of the Park Baseball makes its own deals, so you might see players on teams that are not really on teams in real life, including our team, which is definitely true. And um, I am not the manager. I mean, I'm not the general manager of the team. I'm just the manager, although I am thinking about becoming the general manager after this season is over. Um, but we will get on with the game against the Nationals. So if we look at their lineup, they are visiting. Uh, they'll have uh, Julian at first base. R. Hassel the third. I don't know who that is, in left field. D. Cruz in right field. None of these names are really that um, known. Luis, maybe that's Luis Garcia. Is that Luis Garcia? That is Luis Garcia, so I know I'm familiar with him, at least, as a real guy. Then Kybert Ruiz at catcher. Um, uh, Jeter Downs will be at second base. Arias at third. Uh, Colin Posh at center field. And Cruz at shortstop. They are going to be pitching the inimitable Jackson Rutledge. And uh, on the year, he is 4-4 four and four with a... 295 earned run average, so pretty good for him. Our lineup's going to be Bobby Witt Jr. at third base leading off, then uh, Johan Camargo at second base. Perez will be the catcher, then you've got Pasquatino at first base. Franmil Reyes at DH. Um, Cross, Gavin Cross will be the right fielder. Uh, Kyle Isbell's in center. Uh, MJ Melendez in left. Nicky Lopez at shortstop and Lazardo will be pitching for us today, uh, uh, this year, this season. Lazardo is 5 and 10 with a uh, 5.26 earned run average. So, with that having been said, we will get underway with the game. <clears throat> so, uh, we will pitch to the batter, and we are getting a panoramic view of our beautiful stadium. Um, hopefully we can beat the Nationals. I mean, I would like to get a win here and put us in a virtual tie for last place instead of being the last place team alone, and that's a fly out to right. So they're down one batter out quickly, and Robert Hassel the third is the batter. And uh, that is going to be a walk. So they've got a man aboard with Dylan Cruz up. Dylan Cruz, and he is going to go for the man at first base, so that's a fielder's choice. The Nationals have a man at second base, but with two down now and Luis Garcia, the DH. And he's going to get a base hit, and that might knock a run in, probably so. And it does. 
And so the Nationals have already taken a one nothing lead here off of Lazardo, and Kybert Ruiz is the batter. I mean, none of these guys, from what I know in real life, they're not that great, but yet they have put together a rally for one run. <laughs> and so we're down by a run, and we have Bobby Witt Jr. facing Jackson Rutledge. I wonder if Jackson Rutledge is real. I'll leave it in the comments below if you know, if you happen to be a Nationals fan. I live in the D.C. area, but I've never heard of that guy. And Bobby Witt Jr. goes shopping at the Gap and leads off with a nice double, and he is standing at second. We've got to do everything we can to try to get him in. Um, let me see if I can. I'm going to try to sacrifice. I'm going to try a little bunt action here, and it works beautifully, does it? Oh, no, they got the lead runner. I can't believe that. Oh, man. Well, it did not work beautifully. It, it backfired spectacularly. And then, they, and then the next guy hits into a double play. Thank you, everyone, for your contributions. All right, so Lazardo back out to the mound. We're down one nothing here in the second inning. And uh, the batter is Jeter Downs. He was... Originally in the um, Red Sox system and then traded to the Dodgers. And in out of the park, he has found his way to the Nationals. And uh, it's going to be a rip down the line. I don't think Lazardo is going to last very long in this one, people. Um, there's runners now at second and third with two down. With, no do with nobody down, actually. Two down would be, I would be a little bit encouraged. That's going to be a deep fly to center. And that's going to get another run in, and the Nationals now have a 2 nothing lead on us, which brings up Armando Cruz. And that is going to be a dribbler out in front, and they the catcher throws him out, and there are now two down. If we can get out of this inning, that would be nice, and we do, he strikes out. And we do get out with only another run allowed, but one run every inning is not a good ERA, and it's not a good... Uh, rate at which to allow runs. So, Vinny Pasquatino is the batter, and he strikes out. That brings up Fran Meal Arreyes. Fran Meal is going to fly out to center. So we're having a tough time against uh, against Jackson Rutledge. Who knew? And that's going to be a strikeout. So Jackson Rutledge makes quick work of us. In the second inning, we go to the top of the third. Let's see if Lazardo can at least get out of this inning with no runs allowed. There's a strikeout, so that's a nice start to doing that. Dylan Cruz is the batter. Dylan Cruz looks like it'll be a fly to center, so two down quickly. Very nice. And let's see if we can get this last guy out. It looks like we can. And, yes, he does get out of that inning relatively quickly. And we're still only losing 2 nothing. still within catching range. Kyle Isbell is the batter. And he's going to hit it right up the middle. Base hit for Kyle Isbell. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to do the hit and run. Let's do a hit and run. Ooh, and he hits it. He just missed it because he fouled it right straight back, but let's do it again. And he does it again. So now he's got two strikes. I'm just going to let him swing. But that's a slow roller, and they still get Isbell at second. I mean, Isbell knew what we were trying to accomplish there, and he still got thrown out at second. But there's a walk um, to... Uh, to the batter, and so Bobby Witt Jr., the top of the order, is up. They walked Lopez. That is, that's a fair ball? Wow. All right. Uh-oh. What happened here? Uh, Bobby Witt Jr. got hurt trying to run that one out. All right, we need a new third baseman. Um... I am going to I'm going to tap Hunter Dozier as the pinch runner. And we will go back to game action. If we if we can, how do we do that? There we go. So, um we got the bases loaded with only one out and Camargo up. 
This is a chance for us to bust out, and Camargo hits it right up the middle, and maybe we will bust out on this one and tie the game, and we do. It is 2-2. Two -two. Got to keep it going, though. We've got to keep this going. So now we finally got gotten to Jackson Rutledge, and we have Salvador Perez. Selvi! It's going to fly out to center. We don't have clutch hitting. That's one thing we really could use on this team. Vinny Pasquatino is the batter, and the ball gets away from the catcher. And so runners will move up to second and third now, still with two outs, and Pasquatino the batter. And Pasquatino is going to pop out. But we did tie the game. We managed to tie the game. Although we do have, uh, and uh, we have to put Dozier at um, third base and then go back to the game. So Dozier is playing third now for us. Not good. Our star player is out of the game, and we'll have to see how long he's out. That's something we'll have to check on. Uh, Jeter Downs is the batter. He hits it to third. Double play possibility, and it is. So we turn the double play. We've got two down with nobody on, and Gabriel Arias is the batter, and he doesn't look too happy. But he walks. So Lazardo walks him. Pache is the next batter. He's going to... No! They throw a lollipop over to first. I thought they could have had him. All right. So we got two runners on. Two down. We've just got to get Armando Cruz out. And no. Instead, he hits him and loads the bases. So here we are in the fourth inning. Tie game. Crucial situation. And he strikes out the guy with the bases loaded so that is nice we are going to the bottom of the fourth with Fran Mil Reyes up in a tie game and Fran Mil Reyes just gone yard he's done some yard work here and we have a 3-2 lead now so what looked started out looking like a grim game for us the our fortunes have turned a little bit there's a ground out to second though so that's an out one down with um, Kyle Isbell, the batter. Kyle Isbell is going to fly out to right. Couldn't get it down. It couldn't get down. And Melendez is the batter now. And Melendez is going to go shopping at the gap and hit a double here, it looks like. Maybe a triple if he can leg it out. Let's see if he can. I think he can, and he does. So we've got a uh, triple. A man is 90 feet away. The crowd is going crazy, you can see. And Nicky Lopez is the batter. If a key hit right here would be nice, Nicky, but no, he doesn't do it. And we don't get a fourth run, but we do have a 3-2 lead here. And Robert Hassel the third is going to bat against Lazardo here. Lazardo is running down, so this might be his last inning, and it gets past first baseman. Oh my God, the circus is back in town, fans. All right, so we got a man at second <coughs> on a on a two base error by the first baseman. That's going to be a fly out. So there's one down with a man at second now. And Luis Garcia, the DH. And he's going to fly out to center. And uh, no advancement on the play. And Kybert Ruiz, the catcher, is the batter. And he's going to pop out. So, uh, despite a leadoff two-base error by the first baseman, we recover from that. Pasquatino making that error. But we still have a 3-2 lead, and I am going to get somebody up in our bullpen. I think it's about time we do that. We're going to get Colby White up. And, uh, yeah, Hunter Dozier, who came on for the injured Bobby Witt, is going to walk. Nice. Johan Camargo is up. And Johan Camargo is going to fly out to right. So we got one down, one man at first. Salvador Perez, Selvi, the catcher, he strikes out. That brings up Vinny Pasquatino. And Vinny Pasquatino is going to rip a base hit between first and second. And there's going to be an advancement to third on that, so we have runners at the corners. With 
two down and Reyes up and he homered today. Let's see if he could do it again. That would be really awesome. Uh, but he's gonna he's gonna foul out to the catcher is really what's gonna happen. And we get no more runs. So we it's uh, probably safe to say that we got the runs we're gonna get. I'm going to let um, Lazardo start the inning here. He strikes out the first guy. And um, because you can see he is definitely getting tired. Arias is the next batter. One down, nobody on. And that's going to be a in infield base hit. And now I'm going to go get our pitcher, Colby White. Colby White coming into the game. Um, Colby White on the season 0 and 1 with a 5.40 earned run average in 16 and two thirds innings. He's allowed 19 hits. So let's see if he can pitch better than that right here. And it really he can't. Uh, let's see if you can not. You can't throw him out. I jeez. All right, we got to hope for the double play here. We really just got to hope for the double play. There are two strikes, and there's a strikeout. So if we can just get. Um, Edward Julian, Julian, out, and we can't because the guy didn't want to play the ball. So it's a tie game at three, and they have runners at first and second with two down, and hmm. All right, um, C.J. Abrams is the pinch hitter. Why isn't C.J. Abrams playing? And he's going to put it in play, and he puts it in play right up the middle and gives the Nationals a lead. Why he's not in their lineup, I have no idea. But that's out of the park's concern. And the computer AI manager for Washington. Well, it was a bad idea, I think, to bring in. And he doesn't play that. I thought that could have been a fly out. We are just, he's getting torched. All right, it was probably a bad idea to bring in relief, at least to bring Colby White in. And then Colby White's going to allow a dinger, and we are really in trouble now. I mean, I don't think there's any coming back from that. Um, nine to three. I mean, we were, we were hanging right there, and then Colby White just said, no, I'm going to throw it all in the garbage for you. So we have uh, Gavin Cross. The right fielder batting against Chris McMahon. So they have a new pitcher on for the Nationals. Now I'm going to keep, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep, you know, I'm not going to warm anybody up because we're uh, this is a game we're not going to win. They get the lead runner, and uh, there's one out with a man at first. Melendez, is that really, how is that a base hit or a fair ball? But anyway, it is, apparently. So there's two down with a man at second, and Nicky Lopez is the batter. And Nicky Lopez strikes out. So we don't get any runs. We're down by six. Um, Colby White's almost gassed, but I'm going to try to at least get him through this inning. He strikes out the first guy. That's a good sign. That's going to be a ground ball to shortstop. The only thing I don't like about this, as opposed to some other games like uh, like Stratomatic, is that once a guy gets tired, once a pitcher gets tired, he's practically useless. And the team around him, even on ground balls and things like that, the team around him will commit errors. And there's a home run for the Nationals to make it 10-3. to Um. And, and that has nothing to do with how tired the pitcher is. But And there's another home run. Nice. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So, I mean, I'm still going to try to get him through this inning. He's got two outs. So. And he does. He gets through the inning. But, you know, uh, we're going to the bottom of the seventh. I am going to warm somebody up. But it's uh, it's too late now to salvage the game for sure. We'll get Soriano up. Jose Soriano is up in the bullpen for us. Hunter Dozier, who walked in his first plate appearance, replacing <coughs> Bobby Witt Jr., and he gets a soft liner to shortstop, and he's out. Camargo is the batter now with one down, and he is going to get a base hit to center, right in front of the center fielder. So 
Nice to know they're doing the same thing. Um, Salvador Perez, the batter. Salvi is going to hit into a double play, which is probably merciful for us. And now we will make the pitching change. And we will put in Jose Soriano. Soriano on the year has only pitched two and a third innings and allowed two hits with no earned runs. I probably should have brought him in and seen what he could do right after Lazardo left. But the first batter greets him with a base hit between third and shortstop. And that brings up Luis Garcia, their DH. And their DH is going to hit one right down the line, the right down the right field line for a double and knock in a run. No, not, he doesn't knock in a run, but now there's runners at second and third. And no outs, so Kybert Ruiz, the batter, and it gets past Selvi. So that gets them another run. They're ahead now 12-3 and just really taking us out behind the woodshed. And that's going to be a walk. So I guess maybe it wouldn't have mattered if I had brought him in. Those first two innings were pretty deceptive. There's one down. Runners are at the corners with Gabriel Arias at the plate. And he strikes out. And that's two down. Runners are at the corners and another strikeout. So he, he recovers nicely, but after allowing a run or two. And now the Nationals have improved their lead, as the screen said, to 12 to 3. We're in the bottom of the eighth. Vinny Pasquatino is the batter. And he's going to rip one between first and second. Yeah, I definitely need to take over this team as the GM because the real one has no idea what he's doing. Fran Mil Reyes is up. Some of these guys are just performing so poorly, even the guys with the major league records, that it's I don't know why they keep playing. But um we don't have Michael Massey. Michael Massey was one of our best players. He's probably injured. Um, and Gavin Cross is now the batter with a man at second base after the pass ball. But he strikes out. Two down man at second, and Kyle Isbell is the batter. And he gets a base hit. Hopefully, yeah, that's going to be a double. It'll score a run, but it's, I mean, 12-4. to four. It's nice to see us score some runs, at least. But it wasn't nice to see us allow 12. MJ Melendez is the batter, and he strikes out again in a key situation. And we go down quickly, and I'm going to keep Soriano out there so that we don't have to burn the bullpen up. Hopefully this is a strikeout and not a walk, but it is a walk. And this is his, I mean, this is the rest of this is his game to get, and he's already gassed. And so it's going to be a long, it'll probably be a long inning here, but that's how it's got to go. We get the runner at second, so the fielder's choice gets one out. There's runners at the corners with C.J. Abrams up and playing shortstop now and getting hit by a pitch. And that brings up, uh, well, uh, whoever. And that's going to be a base hit to center field. And the runs just keep pouring in for the Nationals. You would not know that the Nationals are um, almost as bad as we are, but from the looks of this game. Soriano, see again, this is like all of these base hits and everything are like almost because he's tired. <coughs> but in a game like Stratomatic Baseball, they don't, when they get tired, they don't automatically, oh my God, a bouncing ball in the middle of the infield, you can't even make the play. I, yeah, I'm letting him go. So, you know, you might want to keep tuning in and just see how many runs this guy gives up before he actually gets out of this inning. <coughs> <coughs> That's going to be a deep, deep, deep home run. <laughs> That's a deep, deep, deep home run. Uh, probably a grand slam on that bad boy. It's 21-4. I, I'm keeping him out there. I am determined. I'm not going to let my bullpen get burned up in a game that I definitely lost. And so there are two down now, I think. That's going to be a ground out to second, and we're out. So, But you see all those hits and all those, I mean, all of that was because he was tired. In Stratomatic Baseball, they just put an asterisk next to what would have been an out. 
in a couple of places and uh that's how that gets handled and you can still theoretically pitch a guy tired and have him pitch effectively and that's how real life is real life a guy could pitch effectively even though he's tired or at least not like totally and that's a home run for us but again it's too little way too late and makes it 21-5 it is nice again to see us score some runs though johan camargo is up and he is going to ground out to second for i believe the second out yes and that brings up Salvador Perez down 21-5. He's got to get us going here, and he does. He gets a base hit to left field. Man at first base, and Pasquatino is the batter. And he's going to dribble one out in front of the catcher, and that's a lollipop, so he's safe. I mean, I'm getting excited, but I don't know why, because even like you, even if we load the bases and hit a grand slam, it's 21-9. But that's going to be a fly out to left field, and that will be the game. We've got a lot of happy nationals out there. Um, we'll take a look at the box score. Uh, Witt was two for two, too. I mean, it's a terrible time for him to go out. But Dozier, man, he was one for two with um, a hit and a walk. And uh, let's see, home runs. Yeah, Dozier had a home run too. So uh, you can see the the pitching line. Let's see, let's see the pitching line. Uh, Rutledge went five. He allowed seven hits and three earned runs for the Nationals. And then uh, their relief didn't do great, but it's certainly good enough if they scored 21 runs. Lazardo went five and a third for us, allowed seven hits, three earned runs. And then the floodgates opened when I brought in Colby White. He pitched one and two thirds and allowed eight earned runs, and his ERA ballooned to 884. And then Soriano pitched only two innings and allowed 10 runs, and now has a 20.77 earned run average. So, um,. Player of the game was Mike Yastrzemski. I didn't even know Mike Yastrzemski was in the game. Oh yeah, he was the he. I guess he pinch hit and um, yeah, he pinch hit for Cruz and hit that uh, massive home run. All right, so we're gonna leave the game here, and uh, as you can see now, we are thirty four and sixty five. Clearly the worst team in the league, and. Uh, that is going to be, let's see, we'll finish the day, and that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.